kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to teach you how to use the recycler view to search the data inside your Firebase database. So basically, let me first of all show you the, the demo so that you have an idea of how our app will be working on. So if we open the app, so you are able to see the, the data which is coming from Firebase using Firebase UI. Okay, so basically what I want to show you is how to use this search view to search for any, uh, for any data. So let's say if I press S, so you are able to see this. All right, and if I just write animal, so you are able to see that data. And let's say if I again write desert, so you are able to see. All right, guys. So let's start. Let's start it. So first of all, guys, uh, in our previous video, I had shown how to just display the data. I will upload the link in the video description. You can get the video link from that okay after you covered that video then come to this video and now what we are going to do okay so here we have as you know that we have the edit text here i also had the uh, the button here but i will just remove the button because we don't need it now and let's make it match parent all right then up inside your uh, main activity dot java let's initialize the edit text and then we can say edit text equals to edit text then after that what we are going to have is okay so now we can use the add text change listener for uh, the edit text so we can say edit text dot add text change listener new text watcher and now that you are now in the uh, text change listener so now here uh, inside your after text change method so now here you can check if s dot to string dot is empty if it is not empty what we are going to do we are just going to send it and we are can say s dot to string else we can simply pass an empty string okay so here let's create the method search so here we have the method here so now what we are going to do is okay so here let's have the query query equals to that database reference dot order by child and in here we can say name dot start as and here we can pass the string s then we can say dot and at and here we can say s plus all right so after that what we are going to do is we are going to use the query dot add value event listener new value event listener and then inside your own data change method here you can check if data snapshot dot has children then inside here we can okay so now we need to use an array list because we will be adding the objects inside our array list so we can say array list of type category item and our 
category item here you can see that it is only uh, of consists of uh, two strings name and image link so here we can say array list and we can name it as array list and we can initialize the array list inside our own create method all right so here first of all we can uh, remove i mean we can clear the array list so we can say array list dot clear and then we can use the for loop so here we can say for data snapshot dss data snapshot dot has children sorry get this children so inside our for loop what we are going to say we can say final category item category item equals to dss dot get value and inside that we can pass the category item dot class all right guys so now we have this category item so we can add it to our array list so we can say array list dot add and here we will add the category item right so after the for loop so what we are going to do only then we are just going to use okay so now let's create an adapter for our uh, recycler view so here we can say my adapter all right so guys uh, this my adapter class will uh, inherit or we can say extend recycler view dot adapter and in here we can pass my adapter dot my adapter view holder okay so let first of all create a public class my adapter view holder and it will extend with recycler view dot view folder and here you can see there is an error and there is saying that there is no default constructor so here we can generate the constructor so here basically what we want is okay so inside our layout category item which we have okay so here you can see that it will be uh, it's a relative layout with an image view and then there is the text view okay so the text view is mm, id is name and the image view id is image let me show you the whole code here so you can copy if you did not find it in my previous video okay so here what we are going to use is we can say public text view t1 and public image view i1 okay so here we can initialize so we can say t1 equals to text view item view dot find view by id r dot id dot name and similarly we can say i1 equals to image view item view dot find view by id r dot id dot image all right so guys then here you can see there is an issue so first of all we need to inherit or i mean uh, we need to implement some method so first of all is get item count then we have get item id then we have on create view folder then we have on bind view folder okay so basically first of all let's just uh, create the default i mean the constructor so we can say public my adapter and in here we can pass contact first of all c and then we can pass the array list of type category item and we can say this array list so here we uh, okay so first initialize the context here then we can initialize public array list mm. and then we have we can use the array list as category item 
array list so here we can say this dot c equals to c and this dot array list equals to array list all right then in the side are get item count method so we can say return array list dot size and finally inside our get item id we can just return position all right so now inside our own create view folder class so here we can say view v equals to layout insulator dot from and then we can pass the parent dot get context dot insulate r dot layout dot category item layout category item then we have parent and then we have false all right then instead of uh, returning null we can say the return new my adapter view holder and inside that we can pass the view so inside our own bind view holder uh, method now we can say category item category item equals to array list dot get position and finally we can then we can say okay so here we can say holder dot is one dot set text and here we can say category item dot get name and then holder dot okay so here now we can use the picasso uh, library so we can say picasso dot get dot load and inside there we can say category item dot get image link dot into and here we can say holder dot i1 all right so i guess that is uh, enough then inside your main activity dot java file so here you can say my adapter my adapter equals to new my adapter and inside our my adapter method so you can say my adapter class so here we can say get application context and we can send the array list and finally we can say sector view dot set adapter and we will pass the my adapter and finally we can say my adapter dot notify data set change all right guys so i guess that is enough so let's try to run the app and let's see if it works or not alright guys so now the app is running so you are able to see the, the, the data so if I press S and here you can see alright so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye